I'm impressed that she's able to enforce this, yeah. especially as a child of a celebrity. I imagine they have all the resources in the world. Uh, but I, I mean, I think there's pros and cons to this, right? I think the pros are that you have access to information. If you're on your phone, maybe something that you're insecure about. Teenagers are going through a lot of things that maybe they're scared to ask their parents or they're get, they'll get misinformation if they're talking to their peers about. So I think being able to watch YouTube videos, some like big sister videos can be really good. Uh, but I have a feeling it's more just the social media that she wants to restrict versus just having a phone on her at all. Yeah, you're going with the pros and cons of having a phone, um, having the actual technology yeah. in your hand. But I'm just thinking about, like, I'm, I'm so torn because I feel like it, it is, she's going to be raised the way that we were raised, being able to come up with no distractions. Phones didn't do half of what they done. I actually did have a phone um, in the later part of high school, but they didn't do half of what they do now. It was just texting and yeah. phone calls, and that was it. And now with the internet and social media and it, the development, the change happened so quickly. But at the same time, like you want your child to fit in. Like that's a lot of times why parents buy video games Came out because with the other kids have video games. True. Yeah. You know, you want your engaged. child. When, if you don't have a phone, you're kind of not in. Well, yeah, and that's a social life. You make a good point. That's a, that's the sad state of where the children are these days. Yeah. Me having an 11 year old son. Fortnite, the game he plays on his iPad. When I take it away, he's like, "Oh man, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna have anything to talk about at school tomorrow." Because that's how they engage now. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate. I grew up in a world where there were no cell phones throughout high school. So my childhood, can you imagine this? There was no Fortnite. There was no texting. <laughs> there was no phone calls. We were outside on a cul-de-sac or in the street, and we were playing baseball. We were playing capture the flag, cops and robbers, whatever you wanted to do. Yeah. And we were having fun. And I think it allowed you at a very early age to learn how to interact and engage with other people. Yeah. That is what is lacking in this younger generation right now, these kids that are coming up, because everything is like this. I go out, and I'm with my son time, at times, and I'll slap his wrist. I'll say, put that thing down, yeah. man. Stop playing with that iPad. So That'll be the last I, time you slap my wrist. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, Felicia. Okay, That's right. Babe. That's a check. It's 6.08 in the morning. I've been checked by Felicia. He's basically saying in this message that I feel like it puts this class system in place that shouldn't yeah. be there, and everybody values a person's opinion based on well, how many, the number next to them is followers. How important is this person? I do think that the society we live in now has gone too far on that. Yeah. Where the news gathering information source that Twitter is, people go, well, should I listen to this person? How many followers? Do they have 60,000 yeah. followers? Do they have that blue check mark? It is yeah, a problem. It is a problem. I think Kanye's on to something here with this. So I love it. I think it's an amazing idea, but I feel like it also defeats the point of social media, which is built off True. of all of our narcissism. True. It's narcissistic. <laughs> the fact that we think someone cares about our selfie or what we ate for dinner or what we ate, you know, for lunch or when we brushed our teeth. But that also is the point of it. So if we don't have the likes and the follows, then will it be as effective? I think it'll play a smaller role in our yeah. society. I love this idea of people being able to individually choose that. Um, mm. I think that, yeah, he That's totally cool. makes a point. I hate that when I post something, if it's not getting the likes that another post got, that I'm even thinking about that. Yeah. Because yeah. it shouldn't matter. It should just be you sharing experiences with your friends and followers. But it, it has made us all really, really vain. Unfortunately, that's <laughs> been the case since the beginning of social media. I remember even on MySpace. Yeah. Were you guys on MySpace? Oh, yeah, back in the day. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. The OG social media. But I feel <laughs> Like, even back then, you know, there were stats. You had your top six friends, and your friends were, like, at a certain status if they made it onto your top six. So it kind of goes hand-in-hand hand with social media. No, for sure. Uh, but, it, yeah, I, I, it would be a nice option. It's also, I, I, look, Kanye makes a great point. I happen to side with him on this one, but it's also a business. You know, this is how people make their money. There's, True. Influencers has become a huge revenue stream for people out there in the yeah. workforce. So to take that away, I think, is tough. It's also become this this uh, playland for people to express themselves and engage with people and make friends, whether it's for bad or good. I just think the, the, the good, people would argue, outweighs this, this niche of bad right there. So mm. I think Kanye's going to be fighting an uphill battle on this one. Yeah. A yeah. simple thing to simply walk out of whatever set you're on or whatever building you're in, take, take a stop from work and show a visible protest, a peaceful one, but a powerful statement. Are you guys on board with this? Yeah, I think this is so, I think it's so impactful. I think it's definitely important. Um, let's let's keep this real, ladies, because I think we need to switch up our strategy here. So they're saying the hashtag believe women, that's what's trending right now. So here's the fact. 
we weren't there for Christine Blasey Ford, and we do not know. But what we do have to do is take her allegation seriously. Which it is has not some happening. credibility to it, and that's what's not happening. So instead of believe women, I would like to say that we need to, instead of pushing believe women, we need to push to be taken seriously for a just process. I think that's a reasonable thing and a reasonable way to engage um, the, 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 the society and move it forward. Like, we can't, it's not about picking sides. It's about taking the allegation seriously. I thought it was really cool, too, because it's like, do what you can to show that solidarity, you know? I thought it was really great of her to, like, walk out. And there's kids on that set, too. So those kids, whether or not they actually fully understood the story, they're going to remember we were acting on set, and that set got interrupted, and we went outside for a reason, and they're going to know that things like that are really important. And I, th I thought that was really cool that she did that. And also, like, I don't know, have you guys ever participated in any of the marches, like the sure. Women's March or anything mm -hmm. like that? It's like you leave feeling so validated and so empowered and it I don't know I just love it. it's like do what you can I think celebrities are paving the way and good for her without question I mean you look at the momentum and the and the uh, all-inclusive um, gathering of people that got together on the Me Too movement how effective that was and we've seen so many movements come and mm -hmm. gone uh, I looked at the Black Lives Matter movement and it was something very important to me and I saw that there was parts of that that weren't able to maintain that strength because of maybe how it was run at the top or, or maybe the motives or maybe certain things that they had done and it lost a little bit of steam it's still a very important matter but you look at the Me Too movement and how that's continued to stay relevant and continue to stay present. And this Hollywood presence, it's a part of it, I think is also that, that really drives it home and has had it consistently in the public eye and continue to push for the better. And this is a movement that you should really get behind. And I think when you got stuff like Tracy Ellis Ross saying, mm -hmm. hey, this is another faction of it. This isn't just a fad that's going to blow away. We're going to continue to do this. We're going to continue to find ways to be effective. We're going to find ways to continue to matter. That's huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah having that star power behind it too. Yeah, Using the absolutely. platform.